24-year-old Felix Miguel Seguera left Venezuela three years ago to work in Colombia's informal economy. Now many citizens have lost their jobs because of social distancing under the lockdown. Miguel and hundreds of other Venezuelans have decided to go back. If this goes six to eight months, with all these problems, rent starts to accumulate and we will only really be working to pay the owner of the house. If this goes on even to May, this just starts to accumulate. Around 1.8 million Venezuelans fled Venezuela's economic crisis for Colombia. The UN considers it one of the most urgent humanitarian crises in the world. Now Colombia is witnessing the Venezuelan migration in reverse. As Colombia extends its lockdown until April 27th, President Ivan Duque insists the country will continue to provide the migrants with the same social services they had before the pandemic. We know that many people want the help now and immediately. We have had difficulties to define the goals for that population, but the message is, even with all these challenges, we haven't stopped thinking of them and looking for solutions. But the Venezuelans we meet say they have received no aid. Felix sold his only possession, a motorcycle, to travel from Cali to Bogota. Now he will walk from the Colombian capital to the Venezuelan border, which is about 550 kilometers away. The way through the Andes Mountains will take two to three weeks, but he says he'd rather make the journey than face the pandemic alone. Money isn't everything. We can have money and eat well, but it is best to be with your family to face whatever is going to happen. It is better to be at home than with strangers who treat you inhumanely because you are Venezuelan. In Venezuela, President Nicolás Maduro says he expects around 15,000 Venezuelans to return from Ecuador, Colombia and Peru. According to opposition leaders and human rights groups, those who return face two weeks of government quarantines in unsanitary conditions. Michelle Vega, CGTN, Bogotá, Colombia.